Hey everybody, we're at uh, Drive Nation, Legends Open Tryout, about to get started and uh, we're looking forward to seeing some action. This is great to hear the sneakers and the ball bouncing, man. Yeah, absolutely. It's been too long. And one! Four, 14 over here is having himself a day. Yeah, you know what, 43 is not bad either. It's decent. You know 36 here? Yeah, yeah Coach, decent. Yeah, he's the best player on this court. For sure, 100%. Do you guys think that his jersey's on backwards on purpose, or do you just think he put it on? He's trying to be different. 1,000%. Hey, you're in a you're in a tryout. It's actually smart. I'm not a, I'm not a huge fan, but there's only number on one side. It's the biggest number you want right on your chest, so everybody sees it. I'm not mad at him. You have to figure out a way to put your imprint on the game. You know what I mean? So like. If you don't have as talented guys around you that can't make a post entry pass, like, like go get the ball, right? Like, if you're inbounding it or your team's inbounding, like go get it. Like, go for an offensive rebound, pick up full court, like, something. All right, guys, let's uh, let's talk about decision making and who's kind of stood out. We're going to um, we're take up to six guys to the invite workout tonight. We said that we're a little short on bigs compared to guards and wings. Mm -hmm. My personal opinion about those three bigs are 14, 70, and 42. I had 70. I think 42 understands and plays the game a little better. Did you guys see 48? I, I have him in 61 as my two guards that, that I like for tonight. Uh, sorry, I've got 36, 43, 53, 57, 62, 61, 70. 70. Yep. Okay. Okay. Let's uh, head back in and sort it all. I really want to thank each and every one of you, especially how many of you traveled far to get here. Um, the commitment financially, your time, that means a lot to us, uh, and, and we truly appreciate it. So thank you. Give yourselves a hand, a round of applause. <clears throat> so this morning at our open local tryout, we had 70 to 80 participants. Um, which was really exciting and encouraging was they came from all over the country. We took some people from that workout and we brought them to our afternoon session to try and fill some, some voids in our roster. Whether you say square or I'm good, you gotta say it loudly and you gotta declare it. I was standing right next to you and I couldn't hear a word. You know what I'm saying? So if you know you're good, I'm good, I'm good. But try to get in the habit of saying square just for the sake of consistent language. Make sense? Good job. You got to get to his hip. You think about you as a ball handler. You want somebody in your hip. Get into his hip, get an arm bar, and influence him towards the baseline. Don't just open up and give him the basket. Does that make sense? Because then it makes it easier to get back in front. Make sense? What coachability actually is, right? It's not about, yes, sir. Yeah, right. yeah got you. Mm -hmm. Facts. Mm -hmm. <laughs> like the ability to internalize and apply it on the floor. You see that with these drills. You know, this kid number eight was interesting. The lot of activity. Mm -hmm. Moon, nice pass right there to yeah. win the game. Yep. Yeah. This is the first time I've watched him play. He, he definitely knows how to play. He knows how to play. Yeah. Fellas, I just wanted to say, um, appreciate the effort. You guys all competed at a very high level. And anytime you get a chance to be in a facility like this with, with everybody around and NBA eyes and stuff on you, you got to take advantage of it and make the most of it. And you guys did that today. Everybody here in this gym is here trying to be better at their craft individually while also being here to help each other. We just wrapped up our local player tryouts. It's been a great day. We saw a lot of talent and we're looking forward to training camp up in Frisco soon.